Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the blue driver here. Now this thing is fantastic. This is what you're gonna get out of the box here. Uh, so basically this part will actually connect to but this plugs in just the same way that any uh, OBD2 scanner will. So just plugs into your car under there, no issues at all, very easy to use. This light will also turn blue once you do that. Now with this, you will have to use the app in order to see the codes, read the codes, all that good stuff. Very, very easy to use. Basically you'll just connect it via Bluetooth. So once this plugs in, the light will blink blue and then you'll actually connect it. You can either hit connect right here or it'll actually sometimes automatically connect as soon as you open the app. Now, very, very cool. I'm going to kind of run you guys through the app here, give you an idea what you can expect. So obviously you have read codes here. So if you have a check engine light and you want to read the code, you just hit read codes. You can also clear the codes. You can also go see your saved reports. Freeze frame, smog check, mode six, mile status, vehicle info, and service. And then the cool one down here is you can actually watch uh, the the live status of it. So when this is plugged in, you can actually see all your uh, all your your engine stuff live. So very very cool feature. And then more is just going to be the, just a few extra things that you really have to worry about. But as far as the scan tool goes here, reading codes is super easy. Once it's plugged in, you hit read codes. It's going to ask you, do you want to read all the codes? Do you want to uh, read like even the back end codes, maybe pending codes? So you do have a few options with that. Obviously, it's not plugged in, so I won't be able to uh, just show you guys exactly how it works. But if we go over here to a saved report, I'll kind of show you guys uh, an example here. I did have a code in my Subaru BRZ recently, and you can see here it says P0171 system to lean. When we, when we actually click this, it's going to break it down for us a little bit more. Uh, it's going to tell us how common this is. So you can see this is a very common code uh, when it comes to this and then possible causes as well. Now, keep in mind, they're not going to give you exactly what's wrong with it. You will still have to do some diagnostic, but it's going to give you a great idea of what it could be. So there are 12 possible causes, obviously going from top to bottom with it. You know, they have a big one here, vacuum lines, PCV valve, intake manifold gasket, fuel pump. This one is going to be a huge laundry list of possible things it can be done. Uh, and then one frequently reported fix, so kind of cool. And then sometimes they actually have a repair video here as well. So if you're kind of curious on how you can get started trying to do it yourself, they have that here. So really, really cool. Do love that about this. Again, this is going to be a saved report, so it'll be a little bit different uh, than when you're looking at it live, but it's going to look exactly the same once you do click on it and you read the code. But overall, I've been using this thing for quite a while. I'm a huge car person. Uh, we have WRXs, Subaru BRZs. It works great for it. We even use it in our RAV4 to, to clear the code to check it. And and if you're trying to clear the codes and you want that check engine light off, you can definitely do that once you connect it and you read the code. You don't even have to read the code, but you know, obviously you want to read the code and see what it is. You can actually just hit right there where it says clear codes. Once you hit that within seconds, it clears the check engine light off of the dash um, and then you're good to go. So really do like the blue driver. Again, I highly recommend it. This has been my go-to for reading check engine lights anytime I'm working on my car. So again, uh, I'm going to use this pretty much all the time.